Hello everyone and welcome back to another part in this character creation tutorial series. And uh, I quickly want to record this clip because I made a little mistake and I need to correct myself. <laughs> so um, maybe you noticed already, but um, you know, the eyes look very normal at the moment. But look at what happens now. <laughs> so yeah, that doesn't look very good, does it? Um, and the reason for that is now that I think about it very obvious, I mean, the normals, the view normals, uh, they don't care about whether the object itself is upside down or not. So, um, so yeah, really, I mean, okay, let's copy this eye over here to make it not look too creepy. <laughs> uh, so really, as soon as you sort of change anything about the setup, you get really wrong, um, the wrong results. So there is, fortunately there is a fix for that uh, and I quickly want to show you how it's done. Um, so instead of using the normal output here we're going to use uh, the incoming ray instead. So the way this works is, let's make a copy here. We take this uh, and then I'm going to use the vector transform again this time though I won't align this to the camera because I mean the incoming vector basically is sort of a camera vector it is the direction from which we are looking uh, that's where this is pointing to uh, instead we will set this to object so that uh, this is sort of uh, aligned to the object itself um, so even if we flip the object it should still be alright and uh, then Basically, uh, that would be it, un unless there is one little issue, which is that uh, the incoming ray is based on the world coordinates, uh, if you will. So basically, in this current setup, uh, left right will be the x axis, so red channel, but up down won't be y; it will be the blue channel. So that's something we need to fix a little bit. Um, for that reason, we will. Uh, quickly create here a separate XYZ node, put this in here, and then we'll combine uh, combine XYZ. We will um, use X as is, but put the Z into the Y and leave the last one empty, uh, like so. And um, now we basically just replace this with that so if we just plug this in here well it now looks a little bit different and it's the wrong way around as well so let's just add another note here uh, we'll use a scale um, scale and set that to minus one so now it should work all right from all angles, even if you're if you're sideways, if you're upside down, it still works well. And of course, we need to test if uh, that also works if the object is rotated. So let's rotate that somewhere else, and it appears to be all working. So that's uh, a little thing that we got wrong. So <laughs> I'm glad I found a solution to that. The only little issue that we now have is that. Um, since this is now based on the incoming ray, uh, it is um, not based on the normals anymore, which means that uh, the shape did change a little bit because it, it wasn't a flat surface to begin with. Uh, this is something I'm still not sure if I can find a better solution for that. It would be nice if we could actually implement this normal somehow uh, to not just have um, a straight actually can we do that now I really shouldn't try things like this <laughs> um, live but I really feel tempted <laughs> how would I do that though um, well let me stop for now I'll experiment with that later but I have a feeling that in between here you can do some math with the normal output and the incoming and get a little bit of a better result but otherwise what we would have to do is um, basically just adjust the position of everything a little bit and we have of course our control for the position here 
for the eye itself. Just adjust the position of the eye again. <coughs> and we can do the same thing up here. So if we copy this node and put it into this place that we set up before, and we just make sure that we don't change this uh, so much, uh, we can now just do some little adjustments like so to get this back into, into the right position. And then we go back and adjust the eye a little bit. So uh, yeah, basically this now fixes the issues that we had with the eyes. Uh, they now look good from all angles. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that anymore. Uh, the only thing that I don't know, to be honest, uh, and we can actually try that quickly. Since this is uh, using object transformation to sort of adapt to the situation. It works correctly like so, but I wonder what would happen if um, if you rotate the object as a whole. So I hope this doesn't break, but I have a feeling it will. And yeah, as you can see, if you just rotate the mesh inside of the object, um, you get wrong results. So what this means is that in Blender, um, you have to transform this with the object and not uh, with the rig or something. You can't just rig this mesh to something and um, you know move it around. You have to just attach this object as a whole to the head and it's possible it's not you know a big deal because basically the head doesn't really deform anyway. So if we just attach this to the bone that drives the head uh, then it should just be fine in all cases. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, something to think about. But on the other hand, in case you noticed already, one good thing about this is that now uh, actually the highlight is straight to the front, so it's in the same position on both eyes, and that is something that I think is a good thing. <laughs> so that's that. Finally, uh, one last note that I think we should add here is, actually it's already here, this number, I just want to mention it, um, basically is now sort of a global depth value. You can make it smaller, I mean closer to zero to make it flatter, or push it away from zero to make it even deeper. Just be careful not to overdo this, because of course if you go too far you'll get some weird artifacts. Uh, but yeah, it's also something good to know, and um, we'll leave it at minus one. Actually, I feel like it's a bit too strong, but uh, we shouldn't really adjust it here. Just end up adjusting it here because, uh, well, we're doing this setting after we already did all the other numbers. But yeah, this is this is um, mostly what you want. So I'll try to fit this piece of information in somewhere during editing. <laughs> so I hope I hope you receive the information at the right time. But now it should all work nicely and uh, we probably don't need this anymore. So let's get rid of that. Alright, so I'll see you next time.